Welcome YouTubers and today I have another awesome ROM for you. It is the uh, Hyperdrive RLS 15, the release 15. 14 has been out since uh, I believe like December, late November, somewhere around there but now 15 is out and this will be my very first time putting it on here. I have not tried it out. Uh, as you scroll down in the forums here I'll have a link below. Uh, the download mirror is available. Just gotta scroll down. This is all the things. This will also include the Samsung Galaxy S5 features. So let's go ahead and back out of that. Okay. Now where I, what I did was, excuse me, on ES File Explorer here. Okay. If we go to my external, I like to put everything on an external card to make stuff a lot, life a lot easier for you. At least to me it does for some reason. Okay, I have RLS 15 right here. What I've done, which is really cool, excuse me, let me back that up. All right, is after I've installed it, I go to properties and then I go to check some right down there. Okay, now let's see if you can see this correctly here. Probably not too well, but pretty much what it's telling you is um, you can verify the MD5 on this. Uh, calculates it for you whatever you can copy it you can save it it's pretty neat so you can make sure you have yourself a really good product so let's go ahead and get out of all this stuff here okay now I'm gonna go ahead and restart and we'll begin the process through safe strap all right I'll be right back as soon as safe strap well nah I'm good to go we'll just wait a second here and pull up safe strap so once again this is for the um, for I have the Verizon uh, 4.3 um, working with Stave Strap MK2. So here comes the boot up. All right. Now, um, what you want to do, of course, is you create a ROM slot for this to be added. I highly recommend not to mess with your stock ROM. I just don't do it because, I mean, you can always bring it back with an Android or something like that, but. I just don't like to mess with something like that, especially this phone being my daily driver. It'll make it tough on me if I can't get it set up properly. So let's go through here. Okay, right now we're at the stock ROM. I'm going to go to boot options. I already, uh, ROM slot one, I've already um, created it. And you know how much space I want on there and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and activate it. Okay, ROM slot one. Now, if you so wish, you can set the nickname for this and, you know, see here let's go to hyper why okay just like that hit the go there we go back it up back it up so it says up here I'm on ROM slot one I'm gonna go ahead and hit install okay there's a hyperdrive RLS release 14 there's release 15 I'm gonna go ahead with the release 15 boop okay I'm going to go ahead and swipe to flash and we're going to check this out together exactly what it wants us to do. Alright, so here we go. Okay. Alright, this is uh, a Roma installer is booting up. There we go. Perfect. Exactly what I was hoping for. Now let's see what kind of settings we got. All right, uh, hyperdrive, uh, hyperdrive ROM case. Okay. All right, uh, terms and conditions I accept. Okay, important information you must wipe data cache and Delvet cache. That's cool. We can do that. Doesn't bother me none. Uh, run full ROM install. Boom. Okay. Choose your options for cleaning. You want to wipe uh, cache Delvet cache. Exactly what I want to do. All right, your theme chooser, you got Verizon Galaxy S4 or the GSM Galaxy S4. Optimize for T-Mobile, ATT. I don't have the I install here. I got the top part here, the Verizon Galaxy S4, okay? All right, you got your TouchWiz launcher. You can do HyperDrive um, Note 3 or the TouchWiz um, GS4 launcher. Um, I'm, I'm going to keep with the Note 3 because I kind of like the way those Note 3s are, so I want that kind of TouchWiz. So I'm going to move on from there. Okay. Apps and add-ons, all right. You can pretty much go through there and see what you like to have. Um, let's see. 
everything I like is pretty much checked. So, well, I don't need those Sam, SMMO or Samsung Traveler, okay? Gonna move on from that. All right, select your apps. All right, install uh, S5 style AccuWeather widget. Sure, we'll put that on there. You got the transparent one, but I'm gonna leave that one alone. I wanna see what that other uh, S5 looks like. Stock email, yep. Uh, Hyperdrive BIOS boot animation, I love it. I'm gonna leave it on there. Uh, Auto mod, audio mods, none, because I don't really mess with that kind of stuff. Okay, ad blocking, that's cool. The volume hack slight, uh, volume hack loud, increase the volume of your phone. I'm not going to mess with any of that stuff. So let's move on to here, ES File Manager. Perfect, that's exactly what I want. You have a cho your choice as a file manager or however you choose. All right, Google Applications, I just leave all those the way they are because I like it. Here's your AOSP. You can add some of these things if you wish. You don't really have to. The Samsung will have its own preloaded type stuff or you can put some of these things that you're used to seeing on like your Nexus or uh, um, anything a little bit more AOSP without all kinds of touch with stuff. So we'll just, I'm just going to leave it as is. All right. Miscellaneous, Adobe Flash Player. Yeah, I like that. You got MovieTube, Terminal Emulator, TubeMate, Moto X Camera. That's cool. That's cool. Um, I'll just leave all this stuff the way it is. I like the number row in my keyboard, so I'm leaving that. Um, select your custom theming. I want the stock S5 theme. I'm going to go with that. I want to see what it looks like. I think it's going to be awesome. Okay, I'm not going to mess with any of these kernels. I'm leaving exactly what's up there. Okay, what's next? Ready to install, so here we go. Release 15. Okay. So it's going through, it's about 20%. All right, extracting pretty much all the stuff I've put on here that I would like to install. And um, I'll come right back here in just a second with uh, the uh, full install here right before I reboot because you might want to flash your modules because of the safe strap your Verizon MK2 stuff. It probably comes with it, uh, but it's it won't hurt to put that back on or so you don't have any problems. Like I take it with uh, your your carrier signals, whatever that kind of stuff that goes on with flashing module with uh, safe strap. So I'll be right back in just a second. All right, we're back and it looks like things are coming along here, being installed, uh, extracted and installed. So. We're getting there, we're at 93%. We're gonna see exactly what happens. Okay, mounting partitions, or unmounting. All right, there we go. We're at 100%. Save logs, we're going to next. I'm gonna go ahead and go to next. First boot will take longer than normal. Okay, we understand that. All right, I don't wanna reboot right away. So I'm gonna go into here, and I wanna hit quit installation. Okay, are you sure you wanna quit? Yes. The reason we, being because I, want to make sure I get to add my modules MK2 right here okay so we're gonna go and click on that I'm gonna go and flash those in there too done all right reboot system all right so we got the reboot here the uh, custom screen that's normal All right, safe strap is enabled now because we're in ROM slot one. Okay, I'm gonna continue. So here we go. I get the option to see exactly what this is gonna look like. Cool, just what I selected, the uh, hyperdrive, you know, it's like a BIOS boot animation, which is pretty neat. Activating root access, success, enjoy your hyperdrive experience. And here it goes, here's all the it's going to boot sequence. It should take here a few minutes. We'll come right back as soon as it's done booting up. All right. It only took about, I don't know, probably, probably two minutes. So here we go. This is what it looks like. Uh, flick upwards to the bottom for the screen. Magazine. Okay. It's fine. We got our, you know, our stuff here. Pretty neat. Okay. Just about standard. Okay. All right. Let's see what we get here. Ah, oh, look at all these cool things up here. 
I don't think I remember seeing stuff like that. Alright. That's pretty cool, all my CPU stuff. That's neat. Here's my apps. Alright. Pretty much all I've got at the moment. Um, hyperdrive tweaks. Let's go back here to Samsung. Okay. Some stuff there. Alright. This must be up top here. Let's see here. This is the new... No, I'm gonna cancel out of that. The new weather, S5 weather widget. So, well, there you go. It's installed. Looks great. Uh, that's a little lock up there to lock the screen out, you know, but turn it back on here. Now that's pretty sweet. Look at that. That gives you more of a, the old style, like a, you know, one of my uh, Motorola's or something like that. You know, the, I guess it'd be like an AOSP type thing. That's pretty neat. So, hope you all enjoyed this uh, video. And um, RLS, or the release 15 of Hyperdrive is pretty sweet. Uh, you should go and check it out on the XD forums. I'll have it linked below. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.